Hey everybody, Sean here from Shooty School. In Easy Drummer 3, on the Grid Editor tab, there's a Humanize button. And this video is about why you should leave it alone and stop hitting it. Let's get started. I'll go to the Grooves tab. I'll just grab the first beat out of my Easy Drummer 3 library. And I'll scroll down, I'll grab another one. These are called Grooves, they're drum MIDI files. And if I double click one, it will launch it into the Grid Editor tab for me, ready to edit. Now, a lot of people that are making it this far, they see this humanize button, they see that it's off, and they go, I need to push this button and make my beat better and humanize it like this. And some changes did happen. Some dots moved around, some velocity moved around. And then they might move on and never edit that beat ever again, and that's their final product, and I think that's a bad thing. And they should acknowledge what I have to say in this video, starting now. I'll hit undo. So I undo that and humanize. This is the original beat now. A lot of people are overlooking a real simple fact, and it's okay because I've talked to a lot of people about this already. I know it's happening. I know a lot of people are doing this. A lot of people are just overlooking the fact that Tune Track's gone through the effort to hire a professional drummer to perform this MIDI live on an electronic drum kit or a triggered kit to capture that drummer's human feel. So this MIDI has already been humanized at the source by the actual human that performed it. That's why there's no need to hit a humanize button on MIDI that's already been performed by a human. The majority of tune track MIDI, um, besides maybe some EDM stuff, has all been played by a human, so you don't want to humanize it. And that's why when you come over to the grid editor tab, that button is off by default. Okay, that's it. Let's acknowledge that before we move on, because we're about to get advanced, okay? One thing is, is so we have this beat performed by a human that we don't want to humanize. You can see my kick drum beats are highlighted. They're outlined in orange right now. Now, if I want to edit this beat, now let's say I want to add some tom hits to it. I'm going to want to click this pen tool and start writing these toms in, penning them in with my mouse, okay? Now watch what happens to the humanize button and to the no dots that are highlighted when I hit this pen tool. Here we go, three, two, one. The humanize button turned on. And all the notes that were selected deselected automatically. Now because this humanize button is now on, it did not humanize this beat. It actually deselected all the notes before the humanize button turned on. It's an intelligent button. Uh, Tune Track did a fantastic job with these little details that I'm explaining. So now, why is the Humanize button on now? It's because now I have a pen tool and I'm not a human behind a drum set. So it wants to humanize my edits, my edits that I'm going to make with a mouse. So if I just go down to the Rack Tom 2 and I color in, here's a quarter note, here's a a little 16th or 8th note roll right here. Now when I draw these hits in, only the hits that I penned in with my mouse are humanized. That's why that button turned on automatically. It's a fantastic feature. This thing is, in a sense, paying attention to what I'm doing. It's like, oh, we don't want to humanize uh, the beat from the library because it's already performed by a human that's why the button was turned off but now I click the pen tool and that button turns on automatically because it wants to humanize the strokes I do with my mouse it's intelligent let's zoom in real quick yeah this hits early right here this hits early right here proof that you know it's keeping track of my non-human drum performing and trying to humanize it so to recap, don't humanize professional tune track or third party MIDI that was performed by a drummer. And if you do, know what I explained in this video and do it on purpose because that's your intention is to rehumanize it. Because when you rehumanize MIDI performed by a human, you are taking the feel away from that drummer. That drummer's intended performance is now not there anymore. You've destroyed it by rehumanizing. That's why we don't hit that button. And when you want to make edits to 
a MIDI file that was performed by a human. That humanize button turns on automatically. It's got your back because you are not behind a kit performing, supposedly you could be, but we're here with my, our mouse making edits and it wants to humanize just our edits. It's a beautiful, fantastic thing. But this video is not about never hitting the humanize button. Um, like I said, you can make a conscious decision to hit it as long as you understand the repercussions. But um, an example would be EDM music, for example. EDM music is traditionally performed gridlocked. Some producers probably don't do that for their own reasons or whatever. People have their own tricks. EDM music is gridlocked, right? Let's say, for example, I pulled an EDM groove down to the song track down here. And, but I was gonna, I intend to use it in rock on an acoustic kit. Now that is something I'm gonna wanna consciously hit the humanize button for. We wanna humanize gridlock beats. Maybe old beats from 10 years ago that you played on an old school drum machine. Let's humanize those. Let's bring those into Easy Drum and humanize those. Or from other programs, <clears throat> maybe like Guitar Pro or there's a million programs out there. Maybe they're gridlocking all of your work. You might wanna bring those into Easy and consciously hit the humanize button for that stuff, okay? One more trick before we go, since uh, this video is not too long yet. When I decide to hit the humanize button, a lot of people aren't noticing that only the kick drum is selected. As you can see here, only the kick drum is selected. So if I hit humanize right now, only the kick drum has been humanized, not the whole beat. I'm gonna undo that. If you notice, by default, when you launch Easy Drummer 3, only the kick drum is selected. See that orange outline that's kind of surrounding the kick drum right here? So if we don't change that selection and we go over to the grid editor, only the kick drum is still selected. That selection carries over into the other modules, okay? So when the humanize button is hit, it's only affecting the kick drum, and we can tell by the orange outline on the dots and that the kick drum is darker. That's why only the kick drum's getting humanized. So I could select the arrow tool here. I could click anywhere in the grid editor besides on a note itself and just select Control A or Command A on Mac. And now I've selected all the beats in this groove. And now I could hit the humanize button and humanize everything. Of course, we have this little multi multi message because of my handwritten uh, edits are in there. Let's go to this beat. This beat, Humanize, is off because this is a beat I have not edited it yet and it has been performed by a drummer. So now that I have everything selected, the tom, the snare, the hi-hat, the kick drum, it will humanize the entire beat like this, bam. And I would probably only want to do that because I'm making a conscious decision to mess up that original drummer's performance or maybe I'm working with a gridlock beat and I want to humanize it. So that's it. Stop hitting that humanize button, and when you hit it, do it with conviction because you understand when you need humanizing and when you don't. And I hope this video helped you out a lot. I hope you comment below and let me know that this video has helped you out. Check out my free tune track themed Discord and Facebook groups. The links are in the description. And my YouTube members, which is a small monthly fee, they already saw this video a month ago. They see my videos before they come out and they also see exclusive content. So if you're interested, you wanna see stuff early or you wanna see more exclusive stuff, please support me and uh, become a YouTube member, all right? Rock on, I'll see you on the next one.